On today's video, I'm gonna give you the best exercise to make yourself a better web designer. Stay tuned. Hey everybody, what is up? My name is Ron Sego. Welcome back to Flux, the best web design channel on the internet and YouTube. Today, I wanna to talk about how to practice web design. The truth is, like everything in life, you can watch as many workout videos on YouTube, but that's not gonna make you strong. That's not gonna make you better. You actually have to do the push-ups. You have to do the workout yourself. So how do you work out as a designer? What, how do you do some exercises that are gonna make you stronger, better? Well, it's actually pretty simple. You design websites, but what kind of an exercise you can do to do that, something that you can do every day and it's gonna practice all of the broad skills that you need as a web designer? Well. Here's what I want you to do. I want you to design a hero section, the top section of a homepage for a website every day for 30 days and don't spend more than one hour on a design. Now let me explain. Here's how you're gonna do this. Here we have ideasai.net. This is basically startup ideas generated by AI, the GDP, GPT-3, it's kind of the newest AI. You can just reload this and just get startup ideas. Now what I want you to do is just randomly you know, scroll this and every day go and design the hero section of this company, a platform that allows users to record and share their own videos with the community. Now, why the hero section? First, it's small. You can design something in one hour. It doesn't have to be your best work. It doesn't have to be amazing. You don't wanna share it on social media, don't share it. But if you do, that's a good thing as well. Now, when you're designing the hero, you're gonna experiment or experience a lot of the skills that are necessary for web design. You're gonna have to pick fonts. You're gonna have to check uh, or pick a color scheme. You're gonna have to create some kind of a visual. You're gonna have to create a layout, but it's contained so that you can do all of these things. You're gonna have to practice and think about who the user is. How do we create a value proposition or some kind of a sentence that they would relate? What would be the call to action? You can answer all of these questions in a very small project. So this is what I want you to do. Do this for 30 days and you're gonna be a much better web designer. Now, here's the thing about practice. You always have to do this. You can't get in shape and then stop working out. This doesn't work for athletes and it does not work for you or me. So what I'm gonna do in the next 30 minutes, let me randomize this website for three times. One, two, three. And now I'm gonna spend the next 30 minutes doing this. What is this? Online marketplace where used cars can be bought from sellers and sold to buyers. Okay, so this is an online marketplace for used cars. I'm gonna spend the next 30 minutes. Let's fast forward this and see what I come up with. So it's been exactly 30 minutes. Let me show you what I have right now. Well, and I explain how I got there. Is this my best work ever? No, but this is what you can do in 30 minutes and I recommend you spend like one hour on this. And let's see how I thought about this. Well, originally I said, okay, this is a marketplace for 
car owners. They had something else there in the idea, but I forgot about this. So I started off with using an image, right? This is people selling cars, so you probably don't want an illustration or something like this. To sell, you need to show people. Originally, I was looking through Unsplash for people handshaking or client kind of closing a deal um, next to a car. I couldn't find something like that pretty fast and I didn't want to spend my whole 30 minutes just looking for the right image. Eventually I found this image which I thought is pretty cool because you get like a fancy car and then a guy walking here with a briefcase. You kind of might get the story of this guy just sold the car for a bunch of cash. So he's walking around carrying all that cash. And in the other, uh, and if you're the buyer, oh, I'm gonna buy this fancy car with a bunch of cash. So it, it kind of conveys that story. And I thought in a kind of uh, a pretty cool way. Now, in terms of colors, I ended up going with, uh, with black as the main color. And Ed, I had to add here a little bit because there was not much headspace and I wanted the text to be clear. So I added a little kind of a black gradient to give it a little bit more headspace so I can place the text around here. I actually think that black is not a bad idea. You know, Uber started with black. There's the whole concept of black car. So it kind of feels like premium-y. Um, and this guy's dude has a, uh, a black, black suit and the car is black. So I thought we can roll with that and went with a green call to action, green, very pretty salesy and then kind of like approve. I think it works well with selling a car. Now, as I've mentioned, I didn't have much time to think through everything. I thought if there's, what would be the value situ, uh, proposition about buying online? It probably need to be safe. So I went with safe and I was looking to find a way because this is a marketplace and you wanna search maybe, and I'm not sure whether you want to find a car or you want to sell your car. So I've kind of made a search with two calls to action. To tell you the truth, is this the best solution? I don't know. but. Working through this very, very fast, kind of practicing my color skills, image ideation skills, kind of layout, finding a solution to work through all that in 30 minutes, it is kind of a workout. So it doesn't really matter if the end result is not amazing. At least you did that workout. Well, I'm gonna follow up in 30 days and I want you to hit me up. Hit me up on my Instagram if you're not following on Instagram and send me some of the practices that you did. I wanna share them and I wanna see how you're progressing. I'm looking forward to seeing how you work through the challenge. Good luck.